Uh, and this yellow belly's in underneath the, the log, and, and we had a shrimp come up. And he wasn't even interested. Now, if I was a fish and, and it was jumping up in front of me a foot away, I'd be having a go at it. Gab sort of panned around to the left. Now, uh, I, I get the feeling this fellow's come out and he's pretty aggressive, and he's had a go at this, this fish and hunted him because uh, he was hanging around the site. With the river system and, and finding the little cod down there and the nesting site, uh, I was lucky enough to see Gav and Steve going down the river with the camera lens and all of a sudden uh, uh, the little fish came out from his hidey hole, uh, his nesting site, and, and hit the, the camera lens and Steve had never ha had this happen to him before. Gav was lucky enough to have that happen to him down on the Clarence and all of a sudden sitting over in the canoe from them seeing these two blokes go high fives that they found this site. It was great, yeah, terrific. So we, we were watching what was happening down there and we saw the male and the female go in, saw the shimming and the shaking and uh, we all went home and had a cold shower and came back three days later and uh, filmed the egg site and here's Carl looking after it. And it's his job for the next 25 to 28 days to look after that site. And during that period he's got to be pretty well fit because uh, he doesn't leave that site, he doesn't feed during that period. Uh, what he's doing is maintaining it. Uh, running over the, the eggs, making sure that uh, those that hadn't fertilised are taken away from the site because they do uh, form a fungi and that affects the other fish, the other fish eggs that are fertilised so that's his job in maintaining it. And he uses his fins to actually very super sensitive, he must be 118% switched on because you can just see the fins just touching the egg yolks and the eggs and, and, and cleaning anything that's away from it uh, and he's doing that constantly, I mean uh, uh, 24 hours a day and it's full on, I mean he's, he's pretty keen. Yeah. Uh, we went back down and uh, filmed the site uh, and we were lucky enough to pick up a couple of uh, little black dots on a, a couple of the eggs where they had hatched. And you could still see these little these little fish madly ducking around all over the place and I mean there's a two millimetre cod and you've got these things that are you know 25 mil and, and 30 mil long uh, attacking this egg site and you're thinking, oh no, here we go, this is, this is where the loss is. And you can actually see where some of it's been cleaned up. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's been do good doing it, there's a whole lot more that needs to be done. Uh, a heck, heck of a lot of uh, scientific work to be done yet, but it's a start. I have a, I have a passion for the cod, and always have.